Inflector installation. There's two basic ways to install the inflector window insulator. One is a inside casement. The other one is a flush mount on the outside of the window casement. The materials needed will be a tape measure, cutting material, cutting instrument, magnetic tape, a square screwdriver, spring clips, a roller, and possibly a razor blade, your 3M VHB double back tape, and corners if it's going to be an inside casement installation, and also the mounting frame that the in, will go inside the casement. Also you'll need mounting blocks. The items you'll need also will be uh, rubbing alcohol or some solvent to wipe the frame and also wipe the magnet prior to putting on the VHB double back tape. You also need a file what you will need to do will be to measure the inside of the window casement on the top width, on the bottom width, on the right side, and then on the left side. It is also a good idea to make sure that the window is square. So measure diagonally, left to right, right to left. Write down those measurements. The magnetic tape will be attached to the window flush. This is the most easiest way to install the inflector panel. The bottom will end up being flush here. The frame itself, the inflector panel, will be basically one inch wider than the width. And in this application to where we have a sill plate, it will be only a half inch wider than the inside dimensions of the window. That way the bottom of the inflector panel will be resting on the magnetic strip. With the inset mount, we will be using a frame that will be mounted inside the window casement. The measurements will be the same, the same way. On the inside, you will need to take a measurement at the top, a measurement at the bottom. You will have to take a measurement on the right side and the left side height. You will also have to take a di diagonal measurement from bottom left to top right, top right to bottom left. What that will be is both measurements will have to be equal to make sure and verify that the window is square. If it is not square, then it could end up creating an issue whenever we put in our square frame. The other measurement that needs to be done is use a square against the base of the window and make sure that the, the window is square all the way out. If it is comes in because of too much uh, because of the corner or if it comes out those adjustments will have to be made whenever you are determining the width of your frame. The same thing needs to be done on top on the right side and the left side to make sure that everything is square coming out and that the width that where you are going to put the window frame 
or the inflector frame is the same width that you record. The other item of interest is the window fr or the frame needs to be an inch and a half away from the frame of the window which is basically about the same distance of where the window glass is. What I have made is a, a block that is an inch and a half whenever added to the window frame for the inflector it will be two inches away from the window glass. So what I will do is install or not install but place this on the inside corner of the window and then mark a line this is where the mounting bracket will be installed. It basically will allow me to, when I put the mounting blo blocks in, it will allow me to place them all the same distance away from the window. As you can see, there's marks in all four corners. These are the mounting blocks. There is pieces of VHB, very high bond tape, that we have installed that will attach to the frame whenever we place it in. There are screw holes already put on these mounting blocks and we also have some VHB tape that we have installed on the blocks that whenever I put this in to install it, it will hold it until I end up putting the screws in. Attach that or I place it to where my pencil mark is just on the outside or the face of my mounting block and I'll do this on all four corners. With the VHB, very high bond double back tape, we'll pull the protective cover off. We will put in the the mounting corner and line it up with the lines that we have an inch and a half away from the window. Then we'll take our screws and we recommend putting two screws into the mounting block. As you can see I have all four of the mounting blocks already mounted. We will now take the put the corners together with the frame. The frame has a hole in them to where the corners fit in. You make sure that the corners fit snug.
Once putting the frame together with the corners up included, do not take the tape off of the mounting blocks because we're going to do a dry fit to make sure that everything fits correctly and that there is no problems with the sides or the top. If modification is needed, pull the frame back apart Use your file to make any modifications. You can make sure that you are flat and keeping the 45 degree angle. And what's taken off of this side needs to be taken off of the opposing side. That way you have everything square. Put your frame back together. Make sure all the corners are tight. Then cut your magnets so they fit in to the groove within the mounting frame. Verify or make sure that everything is balanced. If you cut long on the top, you need to cut long on the bottom and short on the sides so everything is in proper perspective or is balanced. Make sure before you put your double back very high bond tape on that you know which side is magnetic because the magnetic tape only has one side that is magnetic. The other side is not. So make sure that you have the VHB tape on the correct side. There's usually a groove cut into the back of the magnetic tape. When installing your magnetic tape or your VHB double back tape onto your magnet. Lay it out flat Install it into the center of the magnet. Cut it off flush with the end. Use a roller Usually it's a seam, or it, what this is, is a seam roller for wallpaper. And roll the double back tape onto the magnet. What that will do is create the bond. One thing I forgot to show is make sure you wipe down the frame and the tape with a solution. It can end up being a solvent, recommended uh, rubbing alcohol. Let me make this clear. You wipe down the, the magnetic tape with the solvent and you wipe down the frame with the solvent. Then you apply the double back tape after